hey everyone welcome back on the channel winter has came late in india but it has came with uh, cold coughing and sneezing and as a result i have uh, caught it so don't uh, mind my coughing and uh, my voice is a little bit different so <coughs> let's start the video uh, today we are taking a look at uh, stalker 2 uh, this game already have uh, fsr 3.1 frame generation if you visit the pc gaming wiki of uh, the game you will see here it says fsr frame generation and dlss frame generation are supported so for fsr frame generation you don't need to do anything just install the game and play you will be able to use the fsr frame generation like uh, you can open the image here and also see what let me zoom in a little bit there so you can see fsr frame generation is already inbuilt and dlss is also inbuilt but not enabled uh, for uh, non rtx 4000 series cards so we will enable that along with this game has several stuttering and lagging issue because it's based on unreal engine 5 uh, da uh, unreal engine 5 games do seems to be stutter on even mid to high end pcs so yeah low end pc i'm not gonna just talk about it they face several issue also try to install the game on ssd i know it's very big in size like 150 or 160 gb because if not if you run it from hard disk it will lag even more so yeah today we're going to fix all these issues so let's start this video without any delay now first we got dlss enabler 3.2 the old version which is simple and plain but there is a little trick to install it so don't skip that part along with that we got stalker 2 optimization essentials now what is this zip so if you extract this zip uh, you will find that in here there are five to seven files uh, or folders which are needed to reduce the effect of unreal engine and boost the fps and the stability of the game so yeah first we will install this and then i will show how to install the dlss enabler it's a little bit tricky so don't skip that part i'm telling you again uh, now in this folder you will see this folders now you have to choose which one you like to use so you can see low spec performance balance quality ultra quality cinematic and crisis i'm just gonna use the balanced one because it gives the overall better fps along with some good visual quality so what we need to do is place windows plus r the run menu and type in this percentage app data percentage i'm going to click on enter or click on ok this folder will open up here uh, now you need to go one step backward which is app data and after that we're gonna go inside local then we search stalker 2 here so press s on your keyboard there is the stalker 2 so we're gonna open that after that saved config windows and in here we're just going to copy these two files here now it's gonna overwrite one file uh, the input one so if you want to keep the original one in case something goes wrong so you can always do that by copying or uh, making it a backup folder backup input or something you can move it to any folder you like so yeah i'm just gonna move the original one and then i'm gonna copy and paste this here and replace the input.ini all right now the optimization has been done i'll show you how to enable the dlss enabler and dlss frame generation in game so it's a little bit tricky than usual you need to run it at administrator then click accept next next now as usual we're gonna go to the installation directory for me which is here stalker 2 after that stalker 2 binaries win64 where the win64 shipping.txt is located we need the path of this folder so we're going to click on the address bar whole path will be selected then right click copy come to dlss enabler delete the path which is already pasted here then paste click next now in here we need to install it via the asi plugin or the winm dll dll version is right now not working the game will crash at startup so after that we need to tick on reg file and click on next install it will install by itself after that so click on finish now after that we will go to the installation directory again and we will find the disable nvt signature has appeared here so double click on it click on yes and click on ok almost everything has been done so it's a very few minor in-game setting which is still remaining which are needed to make the game more smooth and stable so yeah i will show you that once i dive into the game let's jump into the game now 
price drop on call of duty modern warfare series with mw3 priced at 250 rupees per week mw2 250 rupees per week and mw1 at only 199 per week get netflix from 249 rupees get canva one year premium at 799 and get google one storage starting at just rupees 99 the stock is limited so hurry all right uh, i am back inside the game now so to optimize the game even more uh, you need to go to option then graphics uh, right now you can see i'm using the medium quality preset so you need to scroll down here and you need to turn the anti-lazing even lower so because i suppose you are already using an upscale of uh, either it's fsr 3 dlss or xcss whichever so no point making anti-lazing making more stress on the gpu so turn it on low motion blur on low motion blur uh instant strength you can set it to zero percent after that depth of field low it does not have disable so yeah we need to just turn everything on low and life shaft you need to disable it sharpness that's totally up to you uh 20 30 percent i'm just gonna use yeah 20 to 30 percent and after that uh, i'm using the dlss quality and uh, i was having some issue with the frame generation mod so yeah i'm using the stock fsr 3 frame generation and everything else is set on medium you can turn this on low if you have uh, even lower end gpu and yeah you can get some more fps so after that we're gonna save it then we come back inside the game and yeah now you can see the fps is hitting almost 100 uh, if i go outside it will get uh, above 100 i don't know uh, all the other games are supposed to like <laughs> give more fps inside some base or less demanding area like this but if you go outside uh, in this game you will get more fps in here uh, yeah there <laughs> it's hitting 100 so yeah there is more foliage vegetation and everything but i don't know uh, this game just supposed to give more fps outside so yeah uh, so this will be it for this video i hope it will help you you can still see a little bit starting because uh, i'm recording and playing at the same time so yeah uh, if it helps you you can consider subscribing to the channel uh, feel free to join the discord for more upcoming videos and everything and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers